What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is the Lockley Smart Safe that you can control using your phone. I'm going to be storing some of my valuables. I have a couple silver bars and I have a gold bar as well. And I have this 2000 year old ancient coin with Alexandra the Great on the front and on the back there's a picture of Zeus holding an owl. Let's go ahead and get started. Got some solid weight on this thing, that's for sure. Here it is. Very pretty. I love the design. It looks very nice. This is the Pin Genie pin pad right here. And here's the fingerprint scanner. It stores up to 99 fingerprints. It has built-in Wi-Fi. App controls using your phone. Works for iPhone and Android phones. This Pin Genie keypad is hack proof. It stores three numbers on each pad. So if someone's standing behind you, they can't really guess your code because there's three numbers on each pad. The fingerprint scanner is a 3D biometric fingerprint scanner. It stores up to 99 fingerprints. It's a steel alloy build and it sends alerts to your phone. It has a three year warranty, laser cut keys, high grade lock, twin lock access option. You can use the fingerprint scanner and the pin code to unlock the safe. Hydraulic pop lock to open LED lights inside. An anti-theft cable if you want to attach it to the wall. And also in case the battery ever dies, it does have a type C connection for backup emergency power. Here is the USB to type C cable. We got our manual right here. And we have the activation card which is very important to have. Do not lose this activation card and the user manual. And there's also a reset pinhole that you can reset the unit if you need to. So right here on the front, you can see there's the lock. Here's the Pin Genie pin pad. Here's the 3D biometric fingerprint scanner right here. On the back, it looks like you can mount it to a wall. As you can see, there's holes. Here's the back side right here. This is also mounting holes as well. Right here is where you put the steel cable. Open it up. I like that it can store some credit cards or important documents right here, which is really cool. Cushion inside. If you, you know, decide to store any valuables or firearms, it, there's plenty of room for that stuff in here and to keep it nice and safe and secure and you know, not get damaged in case you drop this, it's not going to get damaged because everything's padded inside. It does come with bolts if you decide to mount it. And right here is the Wi Fi hub and some batteries. To connect the cable, there's a couple ways you could connect the cable. You could just simply put this side inside the safe and then close the lid or you can actually put this through the hole this loop right here and then attach it to i don't know something so inside the front right here is where you store the battery so you got to put four double a batteries right in here go ahead and put the last battery in there we go and lights up green and the pin pad starts to flash and it comes with the strap in case it gets dropped you don't have to worry about the batteries you know popping out well, make sure you download Lockly app from your app store it works for iPhone or Android phones and then these are all my smart locks in my house I'm gonna add one click on the bottom and tap on the safe right here then the activation card we're gonna scan the QR code and it says failed to pair with smart safe so we're going to reset it using the pinhole so let's go ahead and press this pinhole button for about one second one second all right so now it's resetting there we go so after you press that twice it should pull up this menu tap on the first one and i guess that's in pairing mode. So we're gonna go ahead and try to connect again. There we go, it's connected. Next, let's go ahead and put a pin code in. 
six to eight digits long. All right, let's go ahead and test out the pin code that we just put in for the admin pin code. It is connecting. So let's go ahead and label it. Smart safe. Okay, plug in the Wi-Fi hub. We're gonna do that right now. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Make sure you're within 15 feet of the wireless router and the smart safe. Okay, now we've put in our password, we're connecting. Once connected, the Wi-Fi, the secure link will restart in about 15 seconds. When the green light becomes solid, press the button below to continue. So it says the Wi-Fi hub secure link has to be within 10 feet of the lock or the safe, and it, it is. So let's go ahead and click on next, and it's connecting to the secure link. Go ahead and register using your email address. Let's go ahead and click on update. Now do not turn off your Bluetooth or your phone during the update because you can corrupt the update. All right, it is updated. It took about five minutes actually, and there we go. I added my smart safe. So the smart safe is fully updated. Let's go ahead and go back into the Lockly app as you can see right here. And right now it is connecting. I have all my locks right here on the home page. Let's scroll down to the new smart safe lock I added. And if you're inside your home, you're most likely connecting to the Bluetooth connection right here on the upper left hand corner. If you're away from home, out of state, you could still access your smart safe and the logs. You just tap on the cloud server icon right here to switch over to that. Right here on the upper right hand corner, you can see the battery life is 100%. If it's one or 2% battery life and you get a low battery notification, then they claim you still have over 100 cycles left before you're replacing the battery, but still replace the battery immediately. And right here, if you double tap on this icon, it will unlock one, two, and it works. It works really well. The hydraulic arm really pops that lid, I noticed. And there is an LED light in there, which is great. You have to force it down to close it. Tap on logs. There we go, that works really well. Now let's go ahead and refresh and see if it recognizes that. And right here it does. So the log is really accurate and tells you the date and time. Let's go ahead and go to access. So right now I am the only user, as you can see. There is twin credential, which I'm not gonna do. Yeah, I think you have to put in your pin code and your fingerprint but I'm not going to do that. That's overkill for me. And then SOS alerts, you could do that, turn that on. I'm not gonna do that. Here's add a user, we could do that. Access history. Here's settings. All right, remote setting. You could turn that on, I believe. And then access code, you could change that right there. Touch screen audio, we could turn that on. Uh, update, firmware update. Now you can add a user. It could be temporary or permanent. But as of right now, I'm gonna just add my own fingerprint. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Hit start. One, two, three. Oh, it tells you you have nine left. All right. One fingerprint added. We can have up to 99, which is good. So let's go ahead and unlock it using the fingerprint. Oh, that was quick. That was like less than one second. And let's go ahead and put the pin code in. Very nice. And there we are. We're using the cloud server now. 
before we were using the Bluetooth local server. And let's double tap and hit yes. So that will unlock it if you're away from home. This is my son Dominic. He's gonna try to pick the Sentry Safe lock, which is a basic lock as you can see. And he's also gonna try the Lockley Safe lock, which is a laser cut key lock, a high grade lock. We're gonna see how fast he can pick those locks. Alright, so that took about like a minute or so. Let's go ahead and try this lock. Ready? You want to try that one? Yeah. My hands start to cramp. Alright. All right, give up. Oh, yeah. All right, so it looks like <laughs> it's really hard, and he ended up breaking the tool. So I'd say this is a win for Lockley. So this is the Lockley Smart Safe. It is probably the smartest Smart Safe I have ever had or owned, and I think this is a really high quality safe with a ton of features. So I really like it and I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that might be interested in the Lockley Smart Safe, click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. And if you're interested in buying this for yourself, go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.